Following repair of esophageal atresia, there are a number of issues that we need to be looking for in kids with esophageal atresia. We need to make sure that their esophagus is open and allows the easy passage of food without difficulty swallowing, but we also need to be watching carefully for other possible complications, recurrence of tracheoesophageal fistulas, or development of reflux esophagitis. Some patients with esophageal atresia repairs may have a hiatal hernia or may have a lower congenital esophageal stricture. These are all things that you can evaluate endoscopically and then treat endoscopically or treat medically. And so sometimes medications are used to help decrease the risks and uh, inflammation from reflux esophagitis, and sometimes endoscopic methods are used. We've found that patients with strictures, even if they're on a full diet by mouth, might be limiting what they're eating or having impaired quality of life because of difficulties swallowing, and we can treat that very effectively endoscopically.